here and Reba made you some content. There it is. Over the years, I've made a lot of covers for YouTube. I started posting in January 2017 with a video of Miley Cyrus's Karen Don't Be Sad. It was recorded on my phone with a pair of earphones, edited in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a subscription I had and have had since the time. At the time, I didn't really know much about making music, making covers, recording videos, anything like that. I just kind of wanted to get a cover out because I loved to sing and it's brought me here. It's brought me to 100 subscribers four years later and a lot of covers under my belt and a lot of videos under my belt and also my own music which is something that I never even thought I'd be able to do so YouTube has really been the starting point for me and I'm hoping it takes me further. Since I started posting to YouTube I've recorded 31 covers, I've posted 90 videos including this video and I've had nearly 25,000 views which is absolutely mind-boggling. The most popular video on my channel is my Banksy stencil art which currently sits at I think just around 18,000 views which is absolutely crazy uh, because one it's not even in the right aspect ratio let alone has anything like it doesn't have me in it very much my vi my voice my singing but something about it has hit the algorithm and it's taken off and it's recently hit 18,000 I think which is absolutely crazy however none of this would have been possible without the 100 people that have subscribed to my channel the returning viewers the listeners of my music the people who have supported me in magazines BBC radio introducing my family my friends so many people had involvement in these views the opportunities I've had, the playlists I've been put on the radio, all that stuff wouldn't have been possible without people liking me or my content or my music so thank you because I really appreciate it. It's something I love doing, singing, making content, anything like that. I just love it so thank you for joining me on my channel. I really appreciate it. So to celebrate this achievement for me I have put together a little video of a trip down memory lane and oh my god is it cringy. <laughs> Honestly, looking at my old videos now, the videos from like 2017, 2018, I don't even know, I don't even know what was going on there. I was 19 years old when I started posting to YouTube, I'm now 24. Does that mean it's five years? No, no it doesn't. Does it? Yes, oh my god. Okay, so it's just dawned on me that it's actually five years in January that I started posting videos, so that's freaking mind blowing. I was 19 years old at the time when I started posting. I'm 24 now. Somehow, I don't know where that time went. So along with this trip down memory lane, I'm going to post a couple little snippets of me talking about some different memories about certain videos and things that you might not know. So we've spoken about my first video, which was Karen Don't Be Sad by Miley Cyrus, um, a thrown together cover using a phone, earphones, just not a very good cover sound wise altogether still quite like the sound of the voice like my voice but i'm not too keen on the actual cover there was no video for it it just looked like this it was just a picture of me that i quite liked at the time when i was posting i suppose i didn't i didn't do like this sort of thing where i sort of act when i do covers or talking or anything like that so it kind of looks like that um it's not my favourite, but I really quite like it. I, I don't see any problem with it now. I wish I would have put a video with it because that would have been quite cool to see what, how I would have sang it at 19, if that makes sense. But yeah, I still quite like it. The next three videos that were posted to my channel in 2019 are now private videos. One is a cover of The Beatles. One is a cover I did with my friend that looks like this. And if you can see how my hair looks and have a guess why I don't particularly like it, our vocals, she would say so this as well by the way, not just me saying this, but our vocals aren't as strong and it's just not my favourite video so I took that down. And also a channel introduction which again looks like this. I'm Lou, welcome to my channel if you're taking time. And I sound like that. Trailer and see what kind of stuff. And that is why it's not there anymore. <laughs> it's just cringe, it doesn't match who I am anymore, it doesn't match my aesthetic or theme so it's privatised so you can't watch it I'm afraid and um, the only clips you'll be able to see were the things that you just saw so sorry about that or I suppose not sorry about that you're welcome the next video I recorded was how long does it take to straighten your hair and if I had a penny for every time I got asked that in my life I would not need to make music videos I would not need my full-time job I would just be rich because you know this is my natural hair, people can't wrap their head around that for some reason, so I made this 
as a kind of like indication of how long it took. I didn't straighten my hair very well because I can't do it because I've got curly hair, why do I need that skill? It doesn't look great and it's also in my red hair face so you know, the answer by the way, if anyone's wondering, is about four, three to four hours depending on how well I do it because it's a lot of hair and a lot of curls. So the next three videos again posted on my YouTube channel were taken down, they're private videos, they're still on YouTube but you just can't see them, uh, they look like this and this one is wall decor with my sister which I love but I just don't think the quality is very good the song's not very good that's in it so I took it down there's this one which is the John Legend cover again near my friend T not our strongest vocals or our strongest looks to be honest so it's a it down I hope she doesn't want me saying that and then this one which is a Portal 2 cover which I like but it, um, it just again doesn't suit the things that I was going for now so they're all gone as well the next few videos posted to my channel were um, covers, art videos, and in there is my Banksy stencil art video, which is currently sitting at 8,000, I just have to check, 8,825 views, which is, I don't even know, it gets like 100 views a day and I don't really know why. I'm not really sure why that's my most popular video, I suppose because it's Banksy, but um, the aspect ratio is wrong, the music doesn't sound great, it's not got my face in it, I don't talk, I don't sing, I don't really connect with it that much but the videos bring new people to my channel so you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it you know in August of 2017 I recorded my Malibu video with my friend Izzy who actually worked on the Gone Now music video so you might recognize her name from that um this video is I think still my most popular um cover to date it has a great edit on it which again Izzy did um I really love the the look of it it just flows really well I'm not 100% sold on the vocals of it still but you know I, I like it, I can't fault it, there's a great bit in it where I draw a little heart. Also in the video which I don't think many people know about but there's a point in the video and I'll show it now, there's a point where I point to my arm and for me that's a really cool reference because I know what that's from and Izzy would know what that's from but essentially what happened is where I'm sat in this bit behind me on there is like a little ditch thing and I didn't realize this I I think I was laughing or kind of like fell backwards but I slipped back like that and I rolled down this little ditch and I when I tell you I got stuck like fully stuck she had to come and pull me out it was very scary very <laughs> traumatizing while we were filming this did not capture it on camera which I'm so mad about because that would have been hilarious to have in there somewhere but I ended up scraping up my arm and you can't actually tell in the video but I'm, I'm pointing at it to show you that I scraped my arm and it was um, painful to say the least but um, it's quite it's quite funny it's quite a funny little memory to go with it but that's why I'm pointing in it if you've ever wondered in October and December of 2017 I uploaded my digital scrapbook videos um, which are here there's my New York video and my um, Florida video they were both in October September, October of 2017. And that was that kind of like step into vlog, vloggy style videos I'd ever done. Like it wasn't like a, hey guys, this is what I'm doing. It was kind of more of like a memory book thing for me to reflect on, which I've watched a couple times since. And for me, although I like scrapbooks and pictures, for me, videos and filming things are always a better way to remember anything because I can have more vivid like connection and memory for it. And so I really enjoy looking back at these. During the beginning of 2018, I did a few more covers and I also did a vlog style thing with Izzy again about taking some pictures. I did some like, um, like press style pictures for my Instagram and my website at the time, which I still love now, but because my glasses are different, my hair is different, I've got more tattoos, the things I wear aren't quite what I'd wear now. I don't really use those pictures, but I love them so much. Some of my favorite pictures are these. I love this one, which is um, a car. <laughs> don't don't tell my mum this, you probably wouldn't approve. But <laughs> this was a car that I found when we were outside a pub in the middle of somewhere, southeast England, I don't even know where it was, but we saw it and it was outside a pub and I was like, I need a picture in front of this car. So I kind of very gently leant on it without getting seen, hopefully. And we took a picture and then we pegged it because <laughs> I didn't want to be seen by anyone. But I love the picture. I think it's so nice. Moving into 2019, I posted a couple covers here and there. I also posted my very first one second a day, which I love to pieces. Um, this is actually the fourth year. 2021 is the fourth year that I'm doing this um, one second a day video. And I love it because, again, 
for me it's another way just to capture memories like I love being able to just see what I got up to on like the 5th of May 2018 or whatever it is like I just love being able to look back like that even if it's me just sat in bed with a face mask on I love it I just I don't know why it's just a memory memory thing for me in 2019 August slash July to be exact. If you follow me because of my music, um, this is actually when I recorded my first, or wrote my first ever song, Gone Now, um, and then I actually went on to write the full first EP of Confessions, recorded it in September, and so that kind of was the next bit of content for me, it was a lot of music stuff. We had the Gone Now video which looks like this and I love it, I think it's just so so cool. It was edited by one of my favourite musicians, Ledley, um, and obviously she's an editor as well. Um, and just general content creator, but it was also filmed by Izzy, and again, they just did such a good job on it. I don't know, I mean, I'm, I can edit, kind of, but not in the way that this looks, it just looks really good, and I'm really happy with how it came out, especially for my very first single. The first single and the music video actually came out on my mum's birthday, which I thought was quite cute to tie in for her birthday, and um, that was crazy actually i remember distinctly being very very sure that it would go nowhere no one would listen it would be a big flop and i'd just delete it off of all spotify and stuff like that i just didn't think it was gonna go anywhere so i'm very grateful that i'm now nearly at 4,000 streams on all my music across all platforms which is absolutely freaking mind-blowing so thank you for that late 2019 and early 2020 saw some of my favorite covers of all time including like cardigan by taylor swift look what you made me do by taylor swift um tonight you belong with me billy eilish i love you just so many covers i i love to this day 2020 saw the release of my ep confessions my very first ep and i love it it has Daydream on it, Confessions on it, it has uh, Gone Now on it, Games, the remix, I just, A Secret I'll Never Tell, which somehow is the second most popular song that I've ever written, so thank you for streaming that, did not realise that so many people would relate to that and love it, so cheers, thanks to the person that it was about. God, my breath, I've been talking for 20 minutes, 20 minutes is too long to be talking. Not even not disconnected yet. The first EP came out in February 2020, which um, was just before all the stuff happened that we're not going to really go into, um, but it was really cool to release it and I love it still to this day. Um, after that I sort of just released more covers and videos and things related to um, Confessions, so I did like the Daydream music video, which I absolutely love, it was a self-made lockdown video. The main video was filmed by me and then the little bit at the end is filmed by myself and my sisters. And I love that video. I think considering it was made by me in lockdown, um, I, I think it's really cool. I think it really speaks to what the song's about. Um, if you don't know, it's about like nightmares and the fact that I don't sleep very well. So it's kind of about that. Um, but I think the video kind of encapsulates that really, really, really well. And my favorite actually thing to come from the Daydream video was the behind the scenes where I get to just get flung out of my bed like 10 times. But I just got to lay there and go like this. <gasps> <sighs> that and get pulled out of bed like 20 times which was pretty funny and um, I really enjoyed doing that so uh, thanks to my sisters for helping me with that because I think it came out pretty cool. From March 2020 to like September 2020 I worked on my song Spilt Feelings which came out in October of 2020 and um, that was supposed to kind of kick off um, the next EP which which is called Disconnected which I hadn't actually kind of written the rest for yet but it was supposed to be like the onset of the rest of the EP my, in my head I was going to have like an early 2021 release again for um, Disconnected but England had two further lockdowns from November 5th until like March so it was chock-a-block and I couldn't get out to go and record so I did have all that time to work on the EP eventually got to record it in June of 2021 so Disconnected came out last month which is October 2021 I think the push in release actually gave me time to kind of focus on the songs make sure I had enough um, lyrics and songs that actually meant stuff like I think if I had pushed myself to get an early release of 2021 I don't want to go definitely wouldn't have been on there um, I don't think July would have been as polished as it is I think I would have kind of crammed it with a couple of things that I was half proud of but really I think that extra time just gave me the ability to like slow down and just go actually you know this will work better doing this way and I ended up with a seven track EP, which I'm super, super chuffed with. If you haven't heard it, please go and listen to it. I really love it. 
and if you listen to it go and listen to it in the correct order because a lot of the songs kind of run into each other so they kind of flow as one giant song so with the release of disconnected last month that brings us to present day the one video that we didn't talk about was this video which is all eyes on me um, cover by bo burnham because i like many other people were deeply affected by inside i love that special so much and i think i think it's going to be on my spot for a wrapped one um but i think it's going to be one of those albums and specials that i go back to time and time again because i love it so much um i'm super proud of the cover the video of it the vocals of it there's a bit that i changed from when Bo shouts at the camera i change it to like a sang harmonized bit and i just i love it i'm so proud of that cover for the future i don't really know what it holds to be honest it's quite exciting that way um in terms of music i'd love to work on an album i'd love to do more single releases i'd love to write more work with more people and maybe do some live performances because i've never done any of those before so um if you want to see that let me know in terms of like content creation i've been posting a lot to tiktok i do like lifestyle baking and like general random videos so if you like that go check it out here um, I'm also working on setting up a Twitch environment. So if you like gaming and music streaming content, check me out there because um, I'm working towards getting that ready. I've got like the um, overlays and all the, like the digital creation stuff ready. I've literally just got to set the physical environment. So if you're interested in seeing that, go and follow that below. Uh, recommendations for games and things that you might want to see or like music related content that you might want to see, put it there as well. Other than that, this has been our little walk down memory lane. I've been recording for about 40 minutes, so I should probably shut up now um, and go to bed. If you're one of my 100 subscribers, thank you. I really appreciate it. I couldn't do anything that I love doing without you because what's the point of creating content if there's nobody to absorb it and watch it? So thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, if you've watched this far, well done you because I'm a rambler, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great day, whatever time of day it is for you. And if it's not 2021, I hope the years have improved. I hope the pandemic's gone away. I hope you're safe and happy and healthy and love your life. Um, yeah, take care. Bye. Um, since 2017, I've been co- coasting <laughs> yes that sounds well right actually since 2017 i've been coasting i knew nothing about making covers making music moth my next coup my next coup i'm starting a coup screw the tories I'm starting, I'm starting a coup oh my god i've been talking for 27 minutes <sighs> this is gonna be fun to edit isn't it p.s i'm always this weird and rambly but you should sub anyway Stay.